Hi, this is Susan, and welcome to Zoho Quick Tips. Searching for your data should be quite easy in your Zoho CRM. In this tutorial, we're going to start with the very simple and move to the more complex ways that you can use in searching for your data. Let's take a look. Searching is fairly straightforward in Zoho. Most people will obviously find the little looking glass up here at the top where they can search for something. I might want to search for Stuart, for example. Just type in something and press enter. And this first record is from Stuart, Oklahoma. This account has Stuart in the name. There are other areas where uh, records where Stuart is part of the record, even including a note which has, that has the word Stuart inside the note. I'm going to close this search though. Sometimes when you're searching for something, for instance, Houston, uh, you have too many records. For example, I am from Houston, so a lot of my contacts and accounts are from Houston, so it will have quite a few entries, and that doesn't help me because I wanted to find a contact with the last name Houston. You certainly can use this little drop down here, right to the left of the word, and say, only show me contacts, not any of anything from other modules, but even so, that may or may not let me see. It's only, only going to show me 10 records at a time. And if I have a lot of records, and this is not my actual database, it's a fake database, uh, it may be too difficult to find what I'm looking for. So another way that you can look for specific things like that is to go to the module that you want. And um, you may see this filter contacts by. If you don't, it could be that it got collapsed, which is not a big deal. Just click on this little arrow thing right here. And you can search by specific fields. Let's say I want to search for last name Houston. I don't really see last name here, so I'm just going to search for that field just by typing in last. And I want to find the record where the last name is Houston. And I'm going to apply the filter. And there I find uh, the record that I'm looking for also search accounts uh, this and all of the modules the same way for instance I'm you don't have to use just uh, is uh, I might want to say account name contains the word manufacturing and apply that filter so I have three companies that have that so it doesn't have to be just is, it can be isn't, or doesn't contain, or starts with. Let's look at starts with, that's actually a good one. I'm going to clear this search and go back to contacts and clear this search and look at first name. I know that, for instance, I have someone, his name is Andy or Andrew, or I can't remember how I put them in. So I might say first name starts with. A and D. So when I click apply filter, it'll show me I have Anderson, Andrea, and then the Andes and the Andrews, all of the other options. So it makes it easy for me to find uh, the person that I want and click on them. Of course, one of the easier ones to use and sometimes overlooked one is down here at the very lower left. It's the recent items icon. If you click on that, it will go to the last 20 records that you have clicked. For instance, I can tell that these are deal or lead records. Um, these are contact records. These are account records. These are account records. So I could go back to that account if I needed to. Uh, it allows me to just click on any record to go back to where I was looking at it. It's a very handy thing for when you're looking at something and say so you get a phone call and you get interrupted. So you can quickly go back to the record that you were working with. Finally, let's go back to the contacts list. And again, I'm going to clear this filter because there are a lot of things at the very top that people overlook. For instance, these touched records, untouched records, all of these things. I might say email status. Uh, I want to know all records 
where an email was sent in the last two days and it was opened, but maybe I don't want to open. I just want to say who got an email in the last two days and I'm going to click apply filter and it shows me where I've sent emails in the last two days. I might look at emails that have bounced in the last two days. I'm going to apply filter and that tells me that Andrea um, email bounced and I need to probably deal with that either by finding out what her correct email address is or um, deleting that record or deleting that email. I'm going to cancel and clear. So there's a couple of other things that I think are really interesting too. Again, I'm in the contacts module is there are who have I entered notes on or without notes, uh, who doesn't have an activity. Any filters over here, by the way, are applied against the views. So as I switch views, if I have a view of, like say only Texas, uh, then when I select uh, Texas users and then I say without an activity, it'll only, these filters will only apply to the selected filter. One of the nice one is deal stage. Show me everyone where I, the deal stage is closed one. So I could see, show me everybody in the database where I have a closed one deal with them. Or maybe is not, uh, maybe I want to know open deals. So I want to know, I don't care if it's lost or won. So I just basically use the, the drop down of is not. So this would tell me all anyone who has an open deal currently. So that's a really nice one, but I might also want to say, and the deal amount is greater than or equal to, let's say 15,000. Don't use commas, by the way, when you put in numbers, and I'm going to apply the filter again. So that's really great. I have three. So these are what I would call high value deals. So notice that once I click the apply filter, I now have a save filter button. So I'm going to save this filter and say, give it a name of high value open deals and click save. Notice that there is save filter comes uh, at the top of the filtered list. So I'm going to clear. Uh, notice that the save filter stays there. I can go look for other things, show me anything with anybody without an open activity and click apply filter. Um, but I can always go back to this saved filter. By the way, notice that it said three. It's always going to tell me who, how many people are in the current saved filter. I can now apply other things there. Maybe I would say, um, any one of my open high value deals without an open activity and I click apply. So that's only two because if I uncheck that clear, notice that um, Lance does have an activity. So the, the ways to search are up here at the top, over here at the left in the filtered areas, and of course down here into the recent items. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tip helpful in, in doing your searches. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to this channel if you want to be notified when I upload more tips. As always, if you need help in customizing your own Zoho CRM um, or training your team, just give us a shout. You can find our contact information in the box below. Have a great week.